And an eighth, three, and an eighth, we're good. I think I should go down to three. Three, okay. three, okay. Here we are. Okay. We're on. All right. We're getting ready. Um, yesterday, we quilted the border of one of these table runners. And I mentioned, you know, I really would like to see a decorative edge on the serger on one of these table runners. So today's the day. So welcome to Gloria Horn Sewing Studio. Uh, today, Saturdays, we give a lesson on the serger. We love to show off our sergers because they have so many automatic features that make serging so much fun. So first thing I've done is, well, I did make my table runner and I quilted edge to edge down the center. So we did that, not yesterday, but the Friday before. We had a lesson on that on Friday. Yesterday, we had a lesson on quilting the border. So um, this, I'm not going to quilt the border on this one. I still can do it later if I want, but I am going to put a decorative edge on the serger. So I just wanted to show you how easy that is. So all of you pull out your sergers and start using them for the decorative stitches. So what I'm doing first is I'm trimming the border down to three inches. So I have my ruler lined up at three inches, right at the seam line at three inches. So I'm checking here, I'm at three, here three, here three, ready to cut. Okay, let's put it in a pile, turn it, and do the same thing. Get my drink here. And I'm using my quilter select ruler. And this is the yellow one that we're always talking about. It has some kind of coating on the back that makes it not slide on the fabric. So I'm looking again, I'm at three and three, I'm good. Okay, so if I wanna move, if I wanna move my fabric, I can just take the ruler and move it and the fabric will move with it because it doesn't slide off the fabric. So if you don't have one of these Quilter Select rulers, you should get one because I just talked with Debbie downstairs and she said she has some of these. I said, I bet they're the first ones you grab. She said, yep, I don't even use my other ones anymore because, you know, it's so frustrating to have a ruler that that slides. So the quilter select rulers, you don't have to um, press down. Uh, so on the uh, creative grids, which we love those, but the creative grids ruler, in order to stop the ruler from sliding, you have to push down on it. Where the quilter select, you don't even have to push down. So, okay. So Joni is off visiting her daughters and her grandchildren, and she's having a uh, hopefully a fun time. You know, you never know. You never know with little kids. You never know when somebody's going to get sick. So I have PJ here with me. Steve is back. He, the store was so unbelievably busy today. Um, it's wonderful, but I think people are ready to get out. And, and also, you know, I, I've had so many people recently tell me how coming into the store really lifts their spirits, doesn't it? It's like, it's, it's like, what do you want to do today? One girl said last week, what, she has, her husband said, what do you want to do today? She said, go to Glorious. <laughs> so that makes me feel really good. So, cause it is, it's all happiness. And PJ notices that everybody that walks in our door is happy and enthusiastic, mm -hmm. right? It's just a wonderful atmosphere to be in. So, okay, so now I'm gonna go over to the, to the serger and I'm on our Triumph serger and I'm gonna thread it with some decorative threads. Okay. And we're gonna show you decorative threads. Uh, we, have a, we have a bunch of them. I think by next week, I wanna put some bundles together because um, we have a ton of these threads and we just didn't get to enter all of them. And your machines work so well with them. Okay, now. Okay, so I have, I have my needle threaded. Uh, this is the thread. This is called, this one, it doesn't have any sparkle to it. I love the sparkle. We're going to show you some. And this one is called, I keep forgetting the name of it, Razzle. This one is Razzle. And the other one we like to use is Dazzle. But the one we don't want you to use ever, 
unless you're couching over it, which who does that very often? Um, that is sizzle. Sizzle is too textured, and it just doesn't go through the machine very easy. So we, we will never show you sizzle. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm gonna put it on and go to my upper looper thread guide, thread it like normal. So I have my chart right here, and I'm gonna do three thread overlock wide. Okay, so I'm gonna thread, so I'm gonna put it in the thread guide, I make sure my foot is up, and then <clears throat> I said, <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice, and no wonder, because I think I talked three hours on Thursday, mm -hmm. two and a half hours yesterday, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's uh, yeah. So anyhow, so I'm gonna go down here, and you wanna hear it click. You hear it click, and then you know <clears throat> it's gonna stay in there. I'm gonna get a drink of water. So. Okay. <clears throat> okay, then you want to have a lot of slack. I'm going to, oh, I see a little fuzz on the end. And then we just stick the thread into the, I'm doing the upper looper, so I'm going to stick it in the U thread guide, bump it in a little bit, press the button. Oh no, it didn't go through. What do we do? Well, try again. Nope. Okay, so what you do is, now you could get your wire threader out, but easier is just take a strand of thread. Oh, I have mine right here. So, because sometimes these thick threads don't want to go through the air threading. And so I have a strand of thread, and I just made a big loop out of it. You want it nice and long. Oh, it looks like I cut it. Okay, start, start from scratch. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to have a, like a good long strand of thread. What is that? About 15 inches long. And I'll cut the two off right next to each other. Okay, first I'll put my thread through the loop at the bottom. So here's, maybe if I put it here, okay. it might be easier to see. Mm -hmm. But now i got to see if I can get it through while holding it up in the air. So I'm going to bring it through and pull it through like a good six to eight inches. So right here. Now I'm gonna take this, the two strands of thread, put that in the hole. Okay, two strands, bump it in. And press, and there, see, it went through. So here I'll grab the thread here, and I'll pull it through the rest of the way making sure that it doesn't get caught. There it comes through, okay? Wow. So easy threader. You can pull out your wire threader, but I find this way easier. Okay, so I have all my threads uh, pulled to the back and under the foot. And I've got this one kind of wrapped around something, don't I? So you already oh. had your loopers engaged? Yes, and I'm gonna bump it this way. I've got it wrapped around. And you know what, this one you really don't need to bring to the back, but they just say cut it off to about four or five inches. So yes, so when I got started, it was on surging, okay, and then let's say my loopers were in that position. So I go to threading, and then I turn the hand wheel until I hear the click, and I can't turn it anymore. That push it. So look at, look at right there. When I pull it, mm -hmm. see the loopers aren't engaged, so the, the tubes are not in place, and then here the tubes are in place so I can shoot my thread through. So once I'm done threading, I go to surging, and then my thread can flow through easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really easy. Okay, so, all right, so that's three thread wide. Let's go through the settings. So it is saying 01 needle, so you're just gonna use your left overlock needle, Stitch length, we're going to play with that. So the stitch length is down below. I'm going to leave the door open. I think you could see it better. And it looks like we have it at about one and a half, but we're going to take a look. Usually with this thicker thread, I like it on two, but they say to go two to four. Stitch width, this is your stitch width, and set it on 7.5. So right there is 7.5. Stitch selector, this tells the machine how to set the tension. So A, so it tells the machine what technique you're doing. 
wave selector and we were doing the wave the wave stitch before so I had to switch it to overlock and then these with the dashes chain needle tension this is the chain needle tension don't worry about it it's got a dash through it chain looper tension so this is the looper tension don't worry about that it has a dash upper looper selector on up so you see down and up so we're going to put it on up the blade is up so I can see that my blade is up I almost wish it had a little word up on this because this is where you change it so to make your blade go down you turn it and it says lock so I wish I wish it said up and down that would make more sense for us and now look I, I bumped our stitch width so I want to make sure I put that back to seven and a half okay and then subsidiary looper you just want it looking just like the picture on the card so when usually the only time we, we change this the position of this is when we're doing a two thread stitch and I want to do a three thread now I want to test it to make sure I like what I see and then to um, make sure that uh, I like the stitch length and everything so I'm going to close it up and I want to test it on something similar so my table runner has um, has fusible fleece inside two layers of fabric so I just kind of reenacted it and I'm gonna set it here drop my foot and let's just start to sew and remember the stitch length is on one and a half now, I think that is too short. I'm just going to sew a little bit and show you. So here, can they see it back here, PJ, or should I run it a little farther? I think I yeah. can zoom in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, it does look good. Wow. But, wow, it does look really nice. But I think, you know, I kind of like looking at the, having just a little longer. So um, I'm going to peek down because I've got my oh this is what we should show them the serger table okay. we'll put that in I have it in. you have it in um, okay so serger gotta... table I mean this is so nice look at my scrap is going right down and um, it just gives you a larger sewing surface and you can use a bunch of accessories so everybody is using it okay I'm just gonna I'm at one and a half I'm gonna go one click up but and just sew for a couple inches and then try again you don't want to test too much because then you'll run out of thread. So, but do you notice that? I don't have to set my tension. My tension is absolutely perfect on the baby locks. I'm just deciding how close together I want the stitch. So I think I'm going to go one more click up towards two. And I just, I, you heard the click. And let's take a look. Okay. It's still looking good. I'm going to go one more click. I almost want it to look bad, and then I'll know I'll go one more click down. But I don't want, like I said, I don't want to test too long. I always said that about our uh, other brand sergers that we, by the time we got the tension set uh, so that we liked what we saw, we ran out of thread. And we had to give up because we didn't have another spool of thread. So... <laughs> It, that is exactly what happened. It is. So I kind of like that. I'm going to run it off and just see. I asked them one time, how does this machine set the tension? How does it do it? And all they said, so it was an engineer, and, and he said that our there's plates inside and if you peek down inside the tension when you're sewing you will see those plates move back and forth and he said those plates adjust according to the resistance of the thread so if they feel the thread tightening they automatically adjust so I still don't understand how can a piece of metal adjust I don't know so but just we'll leave it up to them so there we go. I think that looks good, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Now here we were here and it's really really thick. It's perfect, but you're going to you might run out of thread before you get your project done. So, so I'm I'm liking it here. So now we're going to put our project in, okay? So I trimmed it and I'm just going to bring it over. And I, okay, what, sh what I guess I could do a short side first, just to make sure I like what I see. 
Okay, maybe I'll tilt it this way so he has an easier time. And I don't want to cut off, so I am going, I want my blade, I want the fabric to be right next to the blade. And so that's just, so you've got the little markings on the foot. I am just going to go like a sixteenth of an inch to the right of that, because I just want it to graze the edge, so in case there is, um, in case there's frayed edges to cut that off, because I already cut it to size. But you definitely could do, you could uh, cut as you saw. Oh, it didn't like something. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, look at this. I have no idea why it did that. Hmm. Do you have any idea, PJ? No. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pull, I'm going to, and I'm going to pull it out. Oh, here we go. It mm. is stuck under. Okay. So see that there's one that it is coming right off the spool as I'm sewing and it must have pulled and somehow pulled on the thread so what I should have is thread nets and I just know I don't have any thread nets I usually do in my drawer okay so another way oh look at this I got my thread caught in my drawer so I am gonna try reeling that up a little bit and flipping it over but really what I should do is get a thread net. But we have we have um, Shamrock Ridge kits to cut today. <laughs> so, so that's why we're doing a, a fast, fast, fast lesson today. So we can get back to Shamrock Ridge. Okay, I think I'm, I didn't even sew on the edge of the fabric yet. So yeah, I think we're going to be fine. Okay, now. Okay, and it is not going. It doesn't like something. So I must not have closed the door the whole way. Oh, I don't have the foot down. So Joni always talks about this. Doesn't it look like the foot is down? Mm -hmm. But it's not down. Okay, now take a look over here too. So I didn't realize this, but when I was sewing earlier, I felt like, ooh, it's rippling a little bit. That's because I have the differential feed down so it's pulling on my fabric as I sew so I'm gonna go to normal just normal so so we push it down we when we want to eliminate puckering okay make sure my foot is down this time and it is okay now I'm gonna get power and now so I'm just lining up the edge of my fabric right with the edge of this foot Every once in a while, stop and look and make sure your thread's doing okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it can... It look like it was moving. Yeah, it, it can twist, so you want to make sure, like, I, I should keep an eye on that. Oh, look at the thread. It came unthreaded. Mm -hmm. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong here. And, that, and that's what... Like we know that, and so we just say we don't, we don't set up everything perfect. We say we want to set it up right in front of them. So it must have been when, oh, and it was a good thing. Look at that. Oh, I'm not doing good at all, PJ. Look at my wonderful project there. Okay, so we're going to re-thread that purple. Mm -hmm. It broke. So, okay, so I'm going to go to threading. First, I'm going to take my thread out and go to threading. And it is... Okay. It looks pretty twisted. Yeah, it sure does. Which it might be better to leave it on the table behind right? and let it unreal. So I'm just going to leave it on the table behind laying on its side. Okay. Okay. And we're... Now it would be good to put it inside something so it doesn't roll off the table. So I'm going to put it in a basket. Okay, I'm going to thread it again. Oh, make sure my foot is up. So I knew it wasn't up because it was just kind of hard to pull. There we go. Now sometimes the threader works, sometimes not. I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so I snipped off the frayed edge. I have it in threading. Turn my hand wheel till it clicks. Pull slack. No, it doesn't. There. Okay. It isn't liking this at all. 
I'm going to put it back on here. We're going to take our chances. I'm going to see if Steve's in the next room and he can run and get me thread nets. So, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Michaela, could you oh, ask sorry. Steve to bring us some to thread talk nets? To Gloria, so yeah. You can't hear her conversation yeah. in the next room. Okay, here <laughs> oh, we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they heard everything I said. Yes. Yes. There, it's doing okay now. My foot is up. Okay, there, put it in. Let's see if it works. It did, here it is. Awesome. So see, mm -hmm. sometimes it works, sometimes not. I got my thread here and I'll pull it to the back and under the foot. Here. I'm doing good. Okay. Let's give that another shot. Oh, I have my, uh, I have it on threading, not surging. Now to get this out of here. So it should just pull out, but it doesn't, I, I can't believe it even locked without that third thread there. So I think I'm going to start in a different the, spot. Do the other end? I, I'm going to yeah. do the other end. That's a good idea. Yes. Uh, okay. Make sure I didn't fold over. So I did use the fuse it powder, the bone ash fuse it powder to fuse, but I mustn't have gotten that corner good. So, so that it's uh, the powder f turns any fabric into a fusible. I'm just gonna tuck up to the blade just a little farther, and there. Every once in a while, stop and look, and I think I'm okay. I heard a noise. I heard another noise. We'll see if it affects it. Usually when you hear a noise, it means like maybe a twisted thread is going through the tension, mm -hmm. or it's caught underneath. So thread nets would solve all of that, and I bet they can't find any. I better order more. You keep an eye on my thread. Look, my okay. thread's doing really good now. Good. And I'm watching right here. So I want that same gap going the whole way across. Feeling underneath to make sure my fabric doesn't go under. Okay, run off the edge. There we go. Steve brought us thread nets. Okay. So he has been so busy selling machines. Now what do I do with my scissors right here? So I don't want to run off too far because I don't want to waste the thread. Okay, let's see how it looks. Pretty, right? It does. It wow. looks really nice. Now look at the back. Look at how good that looks. So I, I pulled that pink because I see it there. And of course the purple we have throughout the flowers. Okay, so what I would do is, okay, this end. So I'm just gonna grab a seam ripper real quick. Okay. And I should have one. Oh, you want the light oh, squeezy light? snips I can use. All right. Which seam ripper are uh, you thinking of? light up thread ripper. There it is, seam ripper. Oh, the lighted one. Oh, yes. I don't okay. have that in the All bubble, right. but. I know. <laughs> yes, I do really like this. I can really see, because right here, it's white on white, and my, uh, so my needle thread is white on white, and it's really hard to see. Okay, so here is, it's rechargeable. So here is your lighted seam ripper, and we're going to turn it on. And there, and I think the easiest is to come from this side. So see how it's really illuminating it? And I can get that right under. Just get a couple going, and then maybe I could pull the seam apart to get the rest off. Wow, that, see, you would never get this tight attention with any other brand serger. Oh, look, look, it is pulling out. But 
like that tension was so tight. You know what I mean? Like you open up your seam and you see too much thread. So, so I, I just nipped one thread and then I was able to pull and it came out. So we're good. But I think I better, I have the iron on. I'm just going to iron that end. And I'm so excited today uh, because um, I ordered my granddaughter a first communion dress and it came and um, she had basketball practice so they didn't open the box yet but they're gonna hopefully open it today although she has a it's Kate and she has a Valentine party with all her friends coming to her house so I have a feeling her mom's gonna tell her let's open it tomorrow but I'm so excited I can't I hope it fits and everything so Every time my phone pings, I think it's her showing me the dress. So there's really no stores that carry First Communion dresses anymore. It's going really good now. Maybe it was just that beginning of the school. I'm just keeping it straight. Look at how beautiful this is turning out. So this will be a great, oh, I'm, I, if you hear a noise, stop and look. It might have pulled tight up there for a second. If you just. I'm just going to run off the edge. And cut. I don't need to leave that long. I'm going to cut it off with the next seam. So here we go. What do you think? I think it looks pretty. Yep. Really good. It looks good. Okay, there I've got. I'm going to just pull that and I'll hold on to that. Now I'm going to lift my foot and tuck under a little bit. Is there a reason you're surging the sides first and, and not just uh, turning at the corner? Well, the corners are, I don't do, I, uh, it's hard to turn the corners. I don't know if somebody uh, knows a good way to do it, but we, I just like running off the edge and then I, so I will have a thread tail, but I'll use this double-eyed needle and I'll thread that thread tail through the double-eyed needle. I'll thread it through some of the stitches and pull it out and then snip off the excess. We, it's mm -hmm. just so much easier. I, I seem to not be able to get like a crisp corner if I try to turn the corner. Okay, wish I had a little more of this to hold on to. Here we go. So I'm gonna pull it thin. So I'm doing like three things at once. Pressing my foot control, holding my fabric straight and holding on to that thread tail. There. And... Every once in a while, stop and look at your thread. I'm sure somebody's back there going, Gloria, your thread! Because, you know, a twisted thread could twist into a knot. So that might have been what happened. Mm -hmm. There might have been a knot in the thread, and then because it, it would take a lot to break this thread. So this thread's by Wonderfill, and we like razzle and dazzle. And just sizzle was just too textured. So let's peek. How are we looking? Yeah, see, I'm getting a nice crisp corner there. Okay, and so, now, Joni does this thing. She pulls it long and thin. Okay, long and thin. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do this. Okay, but so the large, oh, I, they all need this. This okay. is another thing. So before we go done. on, it's called a double-eyed needle, mm -hmm. and it's by Havels. Yes, they, so here, now she goes like this, and she makes it fold so she could get it through the eye easier. So she kind of holds on to it and goes like that. And it puts a crease in it. So it's got a sharp crease. And then she can, a little bit goes through. And we grab it from the other side. You got it. Uh, well, part of it. 
Mm. Part just part of it. Maybe end up more. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. Of course, she never has this trouble. No. No. But she goes really slow, and you know, careful. And my thing always is, you know, like in the back of my mind, I'm saying, "We Shamrock Ridge, they're putting the kits together. I'm going to try again." I wonder if I would snip it and see if it pulls longer and thinner. I may get myself in trouble with this because mm -hmm. if it's not long enough, can't tuck it back through. Yeah. So here. Trying to pull it long and thin, and she goes like this to make it fold. And then she takes that little fold. Let's I see. don't know how she does that. I don't either. I've tried. I may get Steve. But he's very busy. Everybody's calling him about machines. So, you know, we were thinking, I mean, honestly, we were thinking that maybe Baby Lock was bringing out. Are you going to try? You want me to try? You try. Uh, right. Baby Lock was bringing out a top of the line serger. And they said, no, our Triumph is selling really well. Everyone loves it. And we are the only, uh, the, the t automatic tension works better than any other brand. We've got the wave stitch, which no one else has. And let's see if PJ can do it. I could. Pinch it with a tweezer. I got tweezers over here. Mm -hmm. Fold it over. <laughs> pull it pretty tight. Yeah. And then, then try to jam it through. But you got to get the pink and the purple through at the same time. You need two people if you're not Joni. Yeah. There. You there go. It did. So these tweezers are really nice. Okay. Which ones are those? But I don't. I don't know that I we like ever the sold. Fomore tweezers. Yeah. Tweezers. Yeah, they are. They they're a Fomore. Oh, they But are. I'm not sure the name of this one. But it's got that really really sharp point. Okay. See if Steve, I think Steve's over there. Mm -hmm. PJ, I think we'll call him in and see if Get he him knows. Get him to help us put things in in bubbles. Yeah. So here I'm pulling yeah, through. Put things in bubbles. Look at I got a knot there. It doesn't want to go through the eye. Oop there. Oh. Okay. I thought I pulled it out of the eye. Okay. So these tweezers really helped us. Did you show them the tweezers? I, I'm not sure the name of it. So I got to make right. sure I don't pull it out of there. So I'm going to just take it. Oh, there, that's on the front. I don't want to do it on the front. Do it on the back. Stick that needle under the thread just about an inch. Come back out again, pull it through, and like then that. snip off the excess. And look at there is like a knot in it there. Okay. All right. Now Steve brought me the thread nets, so uh, I I feel good. But look at see it is looping. So let's go now. What you want to do is this has to be a like attached at the bottom. So I want the thread to come out the top. So I'm going to reach in and get the thread. And then when I put it on, okay, that is coming out the top. Okay, so here it is at the bottom. I need this to, I need the spindle to hold on to this. So I'm kind of tucking it in front and going like that. Because what will happen is, as you're sewing, if you don't do that, as you're sewing, the thread net will ride up. Now look at this right here. I have a twisted thread up here, so I better do the pink one too. Okay. Now the thread nets that come with your machine are really, really long, so I usually just cut them in half and they're still plenty long. Okay, so here, tuck. A little bit, like in front of the hole, put it on, and that will hold that thread net there. Okay, so as we keep sewing, you're going to see that the thread is not going to tangle now. Okay, so have your thread nets handy. Now let's stop and peek. see this is what we want to see. Mm -hmm. See how it's not twisting? That's good. Razzle or uh, we like razzle and dazzle. We don't like sizzle. No. 
Yeah, the only reason, they, they said the only way to use the sizzle is to couch over it, meaning to zigzag it over it with the sewing machine. It's going good. It's going really good now. Look at that. It looks so good. Steve, we're going to have a beautiful sample to put in the store. Yes. Keep going. Just trying to hold it as straight as I can. I'm staring right here and I'm just seeing like an eighth of an inch of the silver. I don't want to keep it uniform. I don't want to move to the left or to the right. Keep it as straight as you can. So we're doing good. So as it comes up here, it can cut off that thread tail. a long thread tail so I can feed through and then I'll just do the other side and then we're done so see you you finish the edge in uh, one tenth the time that it would take to do even the wraparound binding would take a couple hours this just takes a half an hour right so use your serger look how good that looks and these decorative threads, we love our uh, stretch thread too. That fills in. Uh, try out these threads. These will also work with the wave stitch. So I've got my threads here. I didn't leave a very long thread tail there. So I'm going to lift my foot and tuck under. And we said we're going to do a quick show today. Uh, Steve, you've been busy with people buying sewing machines, right? It's wonderful. Yes. And so that's wonderful. If you're interested in a new machine, he is here today. He was... You're, are you feeling better? No, he doesn't feel better. So you might want to leave a message and he'll get back to you. Now should we, we can, like I can stop here. I think they get the idea, right? But if I stop here, I may never finish. <laughs> you better finish. You better finish. I'll just go faster. And just every once in a while stop and look. Oh, look at the difference. Perfect. Thread nets. Yeah. Do we have thread nets to sell? Because yeah. if they're like me, they lost their thread nets. Yeah. And the double-eyed needle. And you better put it in the bubble of the Triumph Serger. Okay, good, good. So, but, now I'm just going to whisper this. Should they wait till Thursday for about the Triumph Serger? Or you could give them the... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Steve has a private sale coming Thursday. We haven't, he hasn't told us anything that he's going to do. I'm getting ready. Look at this. I got my, look at that. I got my thread caught. I could pick that out later, mm -hmm. but I'm just going to cut it a little shorter so I can pull the rest of it over. Holding that, whoop, thread tail. Lean in nice and straight, and then you get a nice crisp corner. So here, so look at, I've got a nice sharp corner. If, if you do it, oh look, maybe I should have, but I think I could just wiggle these around, so maybe I should have left it one shorter. Hmm. But I can, I can work with that. So there you go. All right, so I'm gonna leave a little more of the thread tail. Oh no, I got plenty of the thread tail. Okay, and there, so my, and we've done quilts with this. 
and we thought the quilters wouldn't like it. And you don't know how many of the quilters wanted to know how we did this edge. They loved it. So, wow, the quilters even like the serger stitch on the edge. So. <laughs> do you want a microphone, Steve? All right. Does anyone really like to do binding? Does no. Does really enjoy, love to do binding, like to? You know, <laughs> Some people say some they, people do. they do. Yes. I think you're fibbing. Yeah. So there. So I probably I think of when I iron it flat. Let's see those little gaps. What, did, what was your uh, stitch line? The stitch, stitch length was on two. So maybe one click before two and then absolutely no gaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I still, I mean, you, you can't even see the gaps until you go right next to it and then you can see it. There's like a little gap there. So, but no skip stitches, not a single skip stitch. Mm -hmm. No, that's a thing of the past when you own a baby lock serger. So, all right. Should we have thread nets a pack of 20 in the bubble now? Yeah. That's what's thread, uh, thread nets. There's a, you in a pack of 20. Oh, 20. oh, it's a pack of 20 thread yeah. nets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. Nets, so. All right. So that's 20 thread nets. Mm -hmm. If you lost your thread nets, you're going to want to get that. Yeah, because you lose them. And yeah, like, cause I I also use them on the sewing machine too. If I get a spool of thread, every once in a while I get a metallic spool or just any spool that unwinds too easy, and a loop of it gets caught on something. So then I put a thread net on, and then that eliminates the problem. So, okay. And then you did you put in the lighted seam ripper? I did. You did. Okay. So they saw that one. That's mm -hmm. a brand new gadget. And what's so good about the lighted seam ripper? It's rechargeable because um, I am really bad at replacing batteries. So if something runs out of batteries, I just don't use it anymore. And so I really like rechargeable. We had rechargeable lights on our hats. We still have some of those too, if you ever, if you want more. Um, just, I, I, that's what I try to search for is rechargeable. Yeah. Yes. And that light being right there, the lights are so bright now. Like, don't you notice it when you're driving at night that people's headlights are really, oh, yeah. really bright? And they said that's because the, the cars now have LED lights. And it's almost like they have their brights on. So, okay. So the first book is written by um, Palmer Pletch, Patty Palmer and Susan Pletch. They wrote the book on sergers way back when. I'm going to say 1980, right around there, 83, 85. They wrote the book on uh, surging. And so you will see uh, it in, now they, they've edited it, but in the beginning they had a lot of hand drawing pages, you know, because back then it was really hard to get uh, books printed, especially in the quantity. But I remember at one point where they announced that they had sold one million copies of this book, and that was a long, long time ago, but it still pertains. So this is third edition, so they've updated it all, and there's lots of techniques in here. So really, really good. So, so uh, it was Patty Palmer, Susan Pletch, but then Gail Brown also submitted. Okay, now, and then this book is really good. This is by Gail Yellen. Um, in, on the book, it, she has it written, Gail Patrice Yellen. This is Serger Essentials, Master the Basics and Beyond. She is a wizard on the serger. You know, she's just like Deb Canham. She has come up with, look at that scarf with serger stitching. So the rolled hem, so so many, the lettuce leaf edge. So all of these techniques, really, really good pictures. This is a really, really good book on surging. Now some of the pages you're going to be able, if you own a baby lock, you're just going to skip right over them. Like setting your tension. Do you remember having a serger that looped like that? And there was like really no way to fix it. But that won't happen to you on your baby lock. So lettuce leaf edge, what to look for in a nice stitch. So you, you could skip that chapter. You just go right into deciding what, what fun do I want to have on my serger today? Right, so really, really good. So how many pages is this? It is 127 pages. So she's really, really good. 
Okay. Okay, and then you thought the clear foot would have been a better. Yeah, I do. I I usually do so with the clear foot on, and so the so put the pink one in. Okay, the pink um, one. So the pink one uh, goes with the four thread sergers. So for the sergers that do not do the cover stitch, you buy the pink packaging, and that would be the Victory, the Imagine, um, uh, the Eclipse. Uh, so that. And now the next one, so click down on, oh, that this one, there it is. This is a clear curve foot. Oh, that's this a clear is, curve. Yeah. Okay, that one is the clear. So sold space 101 is the clear foot. I don't know, you could just see your stitch better. It's not covered by your foot. And so I really do like that. So, oh, no, that, is, is that the new packaging? Uh, this is an overlock foot. Yeah, clear overlock. Skip over those. I think okay. there's new packaging. And then, oh, the, the set of th uh, needles. So, where did I put them? That this is really nice. They came out with these at our convention, and it's a, a box of serger needles. So, you'll get six packages of needles. You're going to get, and they are the EL705, and that is the style that you use on your serger. And uh, so, you'll get top stitch needles, stretch needles, size 7511 and 9014. You also will get ballpoint. 7010 and 9014, but they're overlock and cover lock, cover stitch serger needle thread stitch set in a really nice tin. Mm -hmm. So this was really nice, a nice place to keep your needles too. And then there's a set for the um, acclaim celebration. Oh, this sir. Okay. And okay, put that one in the bubble. So that one would be the four thread machine, so the Acclaim. So this next one is for the Acclaim, the uh, Victory, Imagine, Eclipse. So the four thread sergers. That's their serger tin. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Okay. And then we have some threads to show you. Yes. Yeah, sir. And, and I think for next Saturday, I want to make a point to have a bundle of threads. So, so, okay, so what we've got first is Dazzle, okay? So this one is, and I guess I'll just leave it here and you zoom in on them. Sure. So this one is Dazzle, and it's called Sunny Yellow. You know, spring and summer are coming, you're going to want the bright yellow. And that has a little sparkle to it, so we really, really like it. And I forget how many are on the spool. If it tells us there's a lot. Meters. Well, 200 yards. Yeah, two. Is that what you read? 200 yards. It's in meters. On, on the 200 meters. Okay. 183 to be exact. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 283 meters. 100. 183 meters, yeah. which probably works out to 200 yards. Yes. Because on this pool. Okay. Okay. So 200 yards, and and it doesn't really look like we used very much of it, and yet, you know, we did our sample. We went around. So it's a good amount of thread. See, that is, it's, it's, it's got, yeah, it doesn't even look there was, like there was a dent put in it yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to just show them how, how much thread they have left there. there yeah. You go. Like here's a, like, right? It's, you've still, you've got at least two more table runners left, maybe three. So, okay. So the next one, I love this color. I don't know what color it is, though. It's. It's like a boysenberry. Boysenberry. I believe okay. so. Okay. Yeah. Is, is it better to have the DC? thread like this, or is it better to have it on um, its side for them to see? I guess it, it doesn't matter either way. I'm going to put it I'll here so they won't roll away. Yeah. So there is boysenberry. So it's got some pink in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. That looks good. And I'll just put the next one in front of it. Here's one you have to have. This is red, and this is uh, dazzle. So it's got sparkle to it. It's not sizzle. Don't buy sizzle. <laughs> we, we have this in there as Christmas red for some reason, but it is just red. It's red, yeah. It is. The name is Christmas red. Okay. Do you have any? What one do you have next? We can keep going. With yeah, just them. go right down the list. Okay. And right in order. This one and is, well, let's, hey, let me get them for you and you can show them. Okay. Um, 
You might have to read me some of these numbers off the okay. top of them. Okay, and I can even look like this one. I see a green. So there's two, three greens coming up next. I, I pulled two it. spools of some of them. Okay. Yeah, and all of these are dazzle. So, okay, we've got okay, avocado. So avocado. 2235. Two, okay, the... let's see. This one. D yeah, 2235. So, this is an avocado green. Yeah, and that one's hard to get. So, th there's just one of those. Oh, is yeah. there, there's only one of that one. So okay. Let's show them avocado. Yeah. Maybe they'll. Yeah. If it goes to wait list, I will call. So the company is in Canada and I can order more. So if it goes to wait list, uh, I'll know to order more. Okay. What's your next one? Next one is grass green. It's uh, the lighter one. Is it 280? It is. Yes. It is. That mm -hmm. looks like grass green to me. So there's a grass green. You'll love trying this. Like, don't worry. If you have a baby lock serger, it is going to work. If you don't have a baby lock serger, you better call Steve. 412-344-2330. So, and then okay. And then this green is really pretty. So this forest green. Forest green, that's, yes. That's so a forest green. 566. Six. So I like, as for Christmas, I, oop. I like this red with that green. Let's see, we're coming out of Christmas. Christmas is, what, Christmas a month is and a half ago. Feels like two years ago, right? Yes. Okay, now the next one you have is this, it's a gold. So yep. what color do they call this? Gold. Gold, Because so it's like a champagne gold. Mm -hmm. So champagne gold, that looks great. Mm -hmm. All right, then we have a purple. Now this one is 120. 120 is lavender. Lavender, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. I never know my difference between lavender and lilac and so. Okay. And then we, I think we skipped one here. It's the blue one. Midnight, the navy blue? Midnight blue. Okay. I think we're going to be, we're coming into summer. And so you want sure. red and blue. That oh, should I check the number? Yeah, just to be sure. Uh, this one is, it says 7148. That's it. That's it, okay. 7148, so that's a navy blue. And the sparkle is, is kind of like a, a royal blue. So, so some of them like this, um, do they call it lavender? It has a sparkle of a, of a little bit of magenta in it. Okay. Midnight blue. Okay, that's. So, and that was number. See, I. You know how I always like a sparkle. I sewed with Razzle, which doesn't have sparkle, but um, I. I really do like the Dazzle better. I like it. It's. It's. Is it the same price as Razzle and Dazzle? The same price? Ooh. I'm Who not knows? Sure. Well, we'll see when we get to them. Okay. Okay. Um, and then was there one more? No. Oh, well, a, this is a red. I yeah. think, yeah, it's mm -hmm. just a, a duplicate. Yep. All we'll, right. We'll have to show more of these. Yeah, we, yeah. we'll do it next week. Yeah. I'm going to order more right now, and then we will have more <laughs> colors to show you. Yeah, let's and do, let's do a, a, a good thread show next week. Yes, then, thread, decorative threads on the serger is next week's theme. How's that? That yeah, because they are really, and really fun. this is funny. Razzle. You were using this? Yes. Yeah. So we don't have those in yet? No. No, we'll no. do that next week. So so see the Razzle. Let's just zoom in on it so they can see the difference. So Razzle does not have any of the metallic sparkle in it. And Dazzle has the metallic. So I, you know I like the Dazzle better. It, they said... Yes, please order it in gray. I will. Oh. All right. I have more razzle than dazzle, Lynn says. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Yes. Okay. Okay. And, and we're good? Yeah. So do you want to just... Uh, I think we're good for we're the day. We're good there? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see anything we'll else We'll do here? better next week when we're on full, full, like Joni's back, everybody's back, unless there's something. We did the thread nets. 
It looks I, like we showed the tweezers. Steve showed the tweezers. He did show he the tweezers. Okay, wall. good. Okay. Yeah, those are really, really sharp uh, and tweezers. So, we'll just yeah. With Linda says next. she loves metallic. I do too. Oh, Kathy said she didn't get a notification today. Huh. So, sometimes I don't get They it. expire. Like, I see people renew their notifications. Oh. Yeah, so I don't know whether it, they just last six months or something. I don't know. Maybe Steve knows if they have to renew their notifications or how we should show them how to turn their notifications back on again. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And okay, what do we have any uh, razzle in the system? Because they're wondering what the price we, is. We do, and it's eight. Um, oh, and let's see. So if I just choose one of these to compare. This is twelve ninety five and Razzle is this price right? Wait, hold on. Here we go, right here. And that was how much? Eight eighty five. Oh compared to the twelve ninety five for Dazzle. Okay. So you like the Dazzle better anyway. I like Dazzle better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we'll we'll know better next week. We'll be on full Full, every, no one's on vacation. Everybody will be back. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. I have to go get to work cutting, um, finishing kits for Shamrock Ridge because I am determined to get those out along with your design sets. So they are putting together the Shamrock Ridge design sets today. And then Monday, the shippers are going to sh ship out as many as they possibly can. So thank and I, while I, Tommy, I, he is loading flash drives. I'm going to stop him from doing that. Uh, Tommy, you better start working on Bunny Knoll because Bunny Knoll, because Easter is at the end of March. So we need our Easter and the Easter collection is so cute. All right. So I'm going to work so we can get your orders out and thank you all so much. We'll see you on Monday for Fabric Frenzy. So we're going to start out showing you new collections and then we have some bargains. We always have bargains. I just got word from Deb that we're going to bargain off Valentine's Day fabric on Monday and you know what how low our prices are. So join us Monday at three and we'll see you then. Thank you. Bye-bye.